All right, thanks for joining me here today on Tuesday. Stephen Johns here with Envisioning Green in St. Louis with hopefully, uh, hopefully the last heat warning day of the year. Doing a pool makeover here. Um, we've done these a couple times. This, this pool was already in place. Um, and then we're just completely and totally redoing all the decking. That way they'll have the cost of uh, just the new decking and won't have the cost of a whole new pool. So what you're seeing now is what I tell a lot of people, you know, when we're here working, it is a construction site. So, you know, we always try to, you know, respect your, your home and, and uh, clean up after ourselves. But, you know, in the process, you know, this is what you'll usually see. You know, you'll usually see kind of our drive path coming in here. And um, a lot of times when we're in smaller quarters like this, We'll use a smaller machine like this uh, walk behind machine over here uh, that way it limits the damage but what we're going to else have at this job is this is a raised patio over here and uh, we'll have a, a pergola over this area and we're going to have like natural stone steps leading up on each side it's going to be like a 24 foot by 18 foot cedar pergola with eight posts it's going to look really cool once we're done but originally you walked in and it was just all a concrete pad or a concrete sidewalk over here. It was kind of cracking, so we ripped all this out. This will be a big natural stone pathway. Um, right now it's just mud. We're hoping to get a lot of that in this week, barring uh, the rain tomorrow, but flipping around here. Kind of another quick view of the yard. Like I said, this pool was existing. Um, we just tore out all the concrete sidewalks, um, tore out part of the pool deck, and then that way the pool itself is just getting a full makeover. Um, and then they still get the benefit of keeping their existing pool and having a whole new space once we're done. So once everything is cleaned up, poly sanded, we got our plants in, we'll have our pergola up. This will be a really neat, uh, you know, backyard. Nice and private. Got a nice breeze going on here right now. So you have an old pool like this that needs a facelift, give us a call at Envisioning Green. You know, we can come up with a few ideas for you on how to really take a, a pool that was once a uh, tip-top shape and convert it back to a, a space you're using again. So um, not only did we ex extend, you know, this whole area, like this, this original pool deck, you know, you can almost see those curves to the left over there. That actually curved around and connected right there kind of where the wheelbarrow's at. So like this whole area right here is extended. And then this whole patio that I'm standing on right now is a new patio too. We put a drain in the middle of this also. Um, we do that a lot. Um, that's so, you know, it's, it's nice when you're hosing everything off just to have a spot to kind of wash everything to. And then with that drain, you can kind of see that gutter over there. We hook that up. There's also a drain here in the middle of their pavers um, because the door is actually lower than the existing pool and there's a, a drain over there leading to that gutter. Um, that's all in the same trench, but it's three different drains, you know, including this drain here, and that all leads out to the street. So that way, when it pours down rain here, it'll kind of get everything out to the street, so you won't have to worry about your backyard getting too wet. But again, just one more quick view of the area, hoping to get all the pavers finally put in today, everything poly sanded, um, get the driveway cleaned up, uh, batten down the hatches for uh, the rainstorm tomorrow, and then uh, hopefully uh, getting through our last heat warning of uh, 2018. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your Tuesday. This is Steven with Envisioning Green, tuning in live from St. Louis.